All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today we're going to check out the free scanning feature from the free version of Avast Antivirus. So I will warn you right off the bat, Avast has designed this free version of their software to try every five seconds to try to sell you something. The main bread and butter of what we're going to be checking out here today is under the status section in the left-hand sidebar of Avast Free we're going to click the big button to run a smart scan. So the first thing it's going to do is not scan my computer. It's going to actually check for settings it thinks that I can improve upon. And then the second thing it's going to do is actually look on my system for any viruses or malware, which I just ran this so it didn't find anything before and also didn't find anything now. And then it's also going to check for advanced issues both the first and the last thing here are, again, Avast trying to sell me their services. Let me just skip this. It didn't find any malware, which is good. That's the only thing I actually want this service for. And then it also wants to sell me its ability to prevent me from having my important files held hostage by hackers. So we're good. We have no uh, problems in here. And I can just, whoops. And I can just go back to this main page and everything's hunky dory. You've got some other stuff over here where you can go into the protection tab and they've got some specific scans that you can do. Like you can scan a specific folder to see if like a file you just downloaded from Jeff at work might have a virus in it just to be safe, which is actually kind of handy. Although pretty much every antivirus also has this feature. Same with running a full system scan, which is a good idea. Um, but they've also got some other stuff like it tries to monitor your computer for strange activity. It's got a list of all of the quarantined files that it's found when scanning, although we didn't find anything because I'm pretty good about scanning my computer with Windows security. And then it can inspect your network. It can prevent ransomware, which that probably requires a subscription to get the full value out of preventing ransomware especially considering they just offered to sell it to me. And then they've got some other privacy stuff here, like hack alerts. This will tell you if somebody's gotten a hold of your password from some other company that got compromised. The answer is yes. I can already tell you, you don't even need to click that. Your passwords are out there on the internet. Change them regularly. And then it'll also offer you some things like to check for out-of-date software on your computer or prevent certain software from sending you notifications. And then more apps down here just tries to sell you more stuff, so I'm not too worried about that. Um, it does okay as far as I can tell at scanning your computer. I have no reason to believe it doesn't. But, again, this has spent more time trying to sell me stuff than actually just doing the one thing that one downloads antivirus programs to do, which is scan your computer for viruses. So yeah, that's a brief look at how to scan your computer with a vast free antivirus. It's okay. It's probably one of the more pester-filled um, free versions of an antivirus that I've used in a while. You can use it if you want. I don't recommend it, but this is how to use it. So bye, everybody, and have a good one.